Okay, so we're going to do an axonometric drawing. And the tools that you're going to need are pencils, um, whatever pencil you like, your pens if you want, or colored pencils. You'll probably need an eraser if you do draw with pencil. You're going to need tape to tape down your drawing. You will probably need, if you have any angled walls, you'll need your adjustable triangle, your 30-60-90 triangle, your T-square, you're going to need your scale, and possibly your flexible ruler. Um, and your brush if you want. You're also going to need your two-story floor plan. Don't forget, it needs to be between 1,800 and 2,200 square feet. It has to be two stories, and it needs to be in a quarter-inch scale. So this is my floor plan, and I'm going to teach you how to set up your paper to draw. So you want to take your 30-60-90 and set it on your T-square, and the first thing that we're going to do is look for view. We want to see what the best view of the house is going to be. So you line up one edge, one exterior edge of your floor plan, and you look in the floor plan. We're going to be drawing up this way with our triangle this way, and you're going to see that you're going to have probably an okay view of the kitchen. You're not going to have a view of the bedroom because the head's over here. Uh, the living room will most likely be cut off because you must remember the axiometric drawings. The walls are going to extend up in this direction. So then you're going to want to rotate your drawing, your floor plan around, and see if this would be a better view. Obviously the kitchen's going to be cut off. The living room is going to be cut off. The bedroom is going to be cut off in this direction. So let's rotate it again. So if our drawing is lined up on this edge here, you're going to have not such a great view of your living room. You're not going to have this main area of your kitchen, so that's going to be cut off. So we know, since the kitchen is so important, that this is not the right view. So let's rotate it around again, once again, triangle sitting on your T-square, and we'll look in from this direction. Now looking in from this direction, we're going to have probably a pretty decent view of the living room, an okay view of the bedroom, and maybe, maybe an okay view of the kitchen. Let's look for a better view. Change your, the direction of your triangle. And let's line it up again on an exterior wall. And from this direction, you're going to be cutting off your kitchen again. So that's not going to be such a great view. Let's come back around this way and look this direction. Again, the kitchen is cut off. You have to have your kitchen. The kitchen is so important. So that's not the view we're going to use either. And now if we look in this direction, this wall of the kitchen is going to cover up this wall of the kitchen. Again, not such a great view. And let's look at it this way. This is not going to have such a great view of the bedroom. It's going to cut off the head of the bed, but you're going to have a really good view because you're going to see the entire L of your kitchen. You can have an okay view of your living room, a great view of your dining room, obviously. And the bathroom, 